Hi, my name is Ethan, and today I'm going to show you how to repair a lawnmower that keeps tripping the breaker when you try to turn it on. More than likely, the problem is going to be a rectifier. So, let's take a look at this Black & Decker electric lawnmower <coughs> model MM575. First, what you want to do is open it up, make sure it's unplugged, and as you can see here, there are four screws. There's one, two, three, and four screws that you want to remove. And once you remove those screws, you expose the motor and the rectifier. And the rectifier is this small little piece with all the wires going into it. So what we want to do is take this screw out and expose this piece here and this is what's called the rectifier what I'm gonna do is take all these wires and replace it with a new one this here is what the new piece is right here It cost me about twelve dollars and seventy six cents plus tax and from my understanding there's uh, something in here that explodes which causes a short circuit inside the system so here's the part now let's install it. Okay, so what I've done so far is replaced the new one uh, and connected all the wiring as you can see. It's pretty simple. Uh, this has a little indentation here. If you look at it, it's not a perfect square. And that's how I was able to tell which wires go to which one. So this here in my hand is the old one. And now I've connected the new one with all the wires. So what I'll do is fasten down the screw and then put it back together okay I fastened down the screw now let's just put it back together so I'm putting the cover on and I will fasten down the four screws again there are one two three and four Okay, now let's give this thing a shot and see if it continues to trip the breaker or if we're good. Okay, here we go, the moment of truth. I have hooked up the lawnmower to a heavy gauge cord, electric cord. Plugged it in and let's give it a shot. Beautiful. Now it's back to work. Okay, so in conclusion, if you have a lawnmower, electric lawnmower, that keeps tripping the breaker, more than likely it's the rectifier that has uh, caused the issue. So basically, if you look at a rectifier, it's this four pronged, um, almost like a fuse, and there's something inside that uh, blows up and as you can see all this white stuff is probably caused from whatever it is that's blown up inside but uh, basically that's it this is the problem and hopefully now you can replace this yourself and only have to spend around twelve dollars and seventy six cents plus tax so I hope this helps you out good luck thanks for watching my video and please like or comment thank you